Welcome to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. The Pelosi Congress forced Obamacare on this country, but now Congress says it wants an exemption. We're going to get to that in a minute, but first, editorial board member Joe Rago is here to talk about a Republican circular firing squad on another aspect of Obamacare. Joe, the Department of Health and Human Services wants to tap a slush fund, and some Republicans are against that. Shouldn't we support the Republicans? A slush fund sounds bad to me. Right. Well, it's terrible. And, and l let me lay out the details because they get a, a little bit complicated. But so HHS has run out of money to implement uh, the Affordable Care Act's exchanges. Not a right? surprise. So they're, they're out of money. Uh, now they're tapping this fund that's supposed to go to prevention. So it's it basically unrestricted money. They're saying, we're not going to use it for prevention. We're going to use it for this other Obamacare thing. So what Republicans want to do, what the leadership wanted to do, was say, we're going to drain that money. We're not going to let them use it to implement the exchanges. And instead, we're going to transfer it to something that, to a different program, which covers uh, pre-existing condition, people with pre-existing conditions. Now that other program has also <laughs> run out of money. So okay. what Republicans want to do, it's a little bit of political jujitsu. They want to say, well, we'll fund this other program and give this an actual chance of passage in the Senate. So we, we do one good thing and two good things um, through, this, through this bill. Okay, uh, and, and, and that's what the leadership wanted. It passed out of committee. But then you had Heritage Action, which is a political arm right, of this and, conservative group, and, and let, Club for Growth Let's not forget in. the Club for Growth. Yeah, what did, what did they want? They sort of swoop in and say, well, this is fixing Obamacare. This is improving Obamacare or expanding Obamacare. So you have a revolt on the right. Uh, you, the, the, they bring this bill to the floor yesterday on a procedural vote. Uh, it, it passes with all Republicans, and then they immediately pull the bill. And what, what the, the right was planning to do was ambush the leadership on the floor and ensure that this bill failed to send a message that they're more conservative or somehow more committed to repealing Obamacare than, than John Boehner and the rest of the leadership. Okay, well, Heritage and the Club for Growth can't affect anything in Congress without having congressmen who are willing to go along with them. So let's name some names here. Um, who is on board in bucket to buck the leadership. Right. Well, we don't we don't know exactly what what this insurrection was was composed of, but you know, you you have congressmen like uh, Tim Hulskamp who will vote against any budget that the leadership puts forward so he gets far t farther to the right than the actual center of the Republican Party. And um, the, the way to think about this is, is um, th something called the Buckley Rule, which is famous in conservative <laughs> circles. This is in- For William in, F. Buckley. Right. In the, in the 1950s, uh, National Review was having a big debate about whether or not uh, Eisenhower was conservative enough for National Review to support. And what Bill Buckley said was, we will support the most conservative, most electable candidate. And what, what these, these um, uh, Republicans don't seem to realize is fine be the most conservative but if you can't get anything done uh, <laughs> you're gonna have no practical effect on policy and the result of this rebellion is that HHS will continue to drain the prevention slush fund to implement Obamacare so they've made themselves worse off so Joe we've got less than a minute left what's the lesson here is it that you know groups like Heritage and Club for Growth are interest groups like any others out there and they're just trying to raise money and support their own special interests that you know Republicans need to be careful with the advice that they're giving out? What's the lesson? Well, right. I mean, the, one lesson uh, is that you need to be more realistic. Uh, you know, you can, you can write all the white papers you want if you're the, the Heritage Foundation, but if you can't have a practical effect on policy, you're, you're not going to achieve very much in practice. If you can't uh, achieve very much in practice, probably not something to follow. A good lesson for Republicans in Congress. Editorial Board Member Joe Rago. Thanks so much for being on Thanks, the show.